I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. This week, Verano Holdings announced that they were buying and merging with Alternative Medical Enterprises, or AltMed, to create the largest privately owned cannabis company. The value of the transaction was not disclosed, but you may recall that earlier this year, Harvest Health was going to buy Verano in a deal that was valued at $850 million at the time. It was a huge week for earnings with numbers coming from some of the biggest players in the industry. We're going to break it down into a winners, losers, and meh category. The winners are Green Thumb Industries or GTI. They had another tremendous quarter with revenue increasing 131% to $157.1 million. The revenue growth was driven primarily by the increased scale in the company's consumer packaged goods and retail businesses. Canopy Growth reported net revenue of $135 million for the second fiscal 2021 quarter. That caused the stock to jump. It was a 77% increase over last year's quarter revenue of $76 million. Still, they delivered a net loss of $96 million versus last year's net income of $242 million. Grow Generation released their third quarter earnings. Revenues rose 153% to $55 million. That was way better than last year's $21.8 million for the same time period. Harvest Health and Recreation said that their revenue rose 86% in the third quarter to $61.6 million. This was also a sequential increase of 11%. Acreage Holdings reported their third quarter revenue rose 42% to $31 million. That was also a 17% increase sequentially. Now in the so-so category, Aurora Cannabis reported a slight increase in their total and net revenue. They hit $67.8 million, but then they announced a $125 million offering that was not well received by shareholders who are very concerned about the company's cash burn. Tilray reported that their total revenue for the third quarter was flat at $51 million. Now it was up 2% sequentially and their net losses did fall to $2.3 million. Charlotte's Web reported that their revenue rose to $25.2 million, but that was only a tiny bit better than the $25.1 million last year. Their net losses also increased to $6.6 million over last year's net loss of $1.3 million. Now in the not so great category, Canopy Rivers acknowledged taking a $112 million hit for their farmhouse investment, and their total loss for the quarter was $87 million. Organogram shares plunged this week on an announcement that they were doing a public offering of units for $60 million Canadian dollars. And finally, in psychedelic news, Cybin began trading this week and Compass reported their earnings. Now, they don't really have revenues, but they did say they have enough cash to get them through to 2023. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart with the Green Market Report.